to a key part of Trump's closing argument that the election is rigged. Trump repeating debunked claims of widespread voter fraud, speaking of a, quote, rigged system this week amid outrage over Trump's comments about not accepting the results of the election. His campaign pointed to Al Gore and the 2000 recount as president. Here to help us compare is Barry Richard, who represented George W. Bush before the Florida Supreme Court during the 2000 recount. Uh, Barry, attorneys for both Bush and Gore have pushed back against uh, Trump's claims comparing uh, what's going on now to what happened in 2000. Can you just lay out the fundamental differences uh, that people should know between now and 2016 and what happened in 2000? Sure. First of all, nobody, neither candidate in 2000, suggested that the election was rigged. The issue was whether the punch card ballot machines were accurately counting the vote. And that's what the recount was over. It wasn't over any suggestion that the election itself had been rigged by anybody. And the second thing is that neither of the candidates indicated or even suggested that they wouldn't, uh, that they wouldn't fully support the winner. As a matter of fact, uh, once it was finally determined by the system that Bush was the winner, Gore went on TV. Uh, he conceded the election. He asked all Americans to unite behind uh, behind uh, what was then President-elect Bush, and he followed a time-honored tradition of standing on the platform with Bush and his family and with President Clinton uh, to demonstrate the peaceful transfer of power at the inauguration. Yeah, and it doesn't, it's not clear at this moment that Donald Trump is going to do that. His campaign has said uh, once the votes are certified, which could be until December, given how long it takes certain states uh, to get all those votes certified. But I want to ask you about this. There's new polling out there that shows uh, that over four in 10 Republicans say that they may not accept the results of this election. Is that number surprising to you? Well, it is surprising, and it, it would be distressing if it proves to be true. Uh, I remember in 2000, uh, when all of the turmoil was taking place, I was asked by a number uh, of news media outlets whether I, whether I thought that uh, Americans would accept the result and whether I thought anybody could govern. And my answer was uh, that, that the Monday after the election, everybody would go back to work satisfied that we had a president, whether or not they had voted for him. And that's what happened. And it's one of the great strengths of our democracy. Uh, and it demonstrated to the world Contrary to some people saying that, that it was embarrassing, I think it demonstrated to the world uh, the strength of our democracy. And I think and I hope that that's what's going to happen this time uh, when all of the smoke clears. The rule of law, as Pete Hookshore was just talking about. We've also uh, seen Donald Trump, though, talk about this idea of widespread voter fraud. I mean, you're somebody who knows constitutional law. Constitutional law. Are you concerned about uh, how these efforts could help infringe on people's rights, help uh, allow others to come in and, and potentially intimidate voters? Well, I, I certainly hope that doesn't happen. You know, uh, elections are a messy process, and it's incredible that we're able to run an election in a country this size with what everybody who really knows what's happening, every expert, concedes as an extremely small percentage of fraud in the election process. So uh, I'm hopeful that, the, that people will continue to have confidence in the system. That, by the way, is the reason that, that historically candidates have never stepped over that line by suggesting that the system is rigged or that they wouldn't support the, uh, the winner, uh, because I think that there has always been uh, a, a commitment to the bigger issue of Americans remaining confident in the system. And again, I think they will remain confident when this is over. Well, let's hope they do. Barry Richard, thank you so much for joining us.